Hey guys, what's going on? It's me again. Hey, I'm fixing a little too, in a little while go to my first class this week. It's going to be my calculus class. And the nice thing is, I don't have to go. I go on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I don't have to go until the afternoon. How about that? All right. And it's only like an hour long. They're only like an hour long. But this should be interesting. Now, this is going to be the math class that is going to make or break me. But I don't... I really don't think I have to worry too much about that because my dad's going to audit it with me and he wanted to review as well. So, yeah, that's really going to help out a lot. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to have to do the work myself, which is fine. I need to. Um, but he, but he's going to be there if I need any help. So, hey, it's, it's like a backup teacher when you need one. So, yeah. Well, my mom always said, if I want to learn some good math, go to my dad. He's an excellent math teacher, which he is. So, so before I have to go to class, I found a quick little video here. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do anything, let me move my, well, yeah. Yeah. And let me take this and shrink. There we go. There we go. Oh wow. I'm on I'm on the new OBS studio, man. This is nice. It's nice. This 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 shows you what your range is, what your what your size is, and what your measurements are in, in your video capture. That's really cool. Okay. What I'm going to do is, we're going to uh, have us a quick little video, It's in Cars 80, before I have to go to class. Alright, so, as always, I'll leave a like, uh, please leave a like in the description box below. I'll have links to the original videos down there too, so if you want to watch these without my reaction and commentary you can you're not going to hurt my feelings so without further ado before i have to go to class away i go here we go this video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary now i'm going to turn this down what what dude what the huh Okay then, well, curious to know what their excuse was for this one. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Probably weren't paying attention. Alright, what is... Whoa! Dude! So this guy almost killed me on my way home from work tonight. The whole road is a double solid. There is no overtaking allowed on it. Uh, yeah. You got two double solids. That's a no passing zone on either side. You know, this is the, you know, this is the problem with roads like this. You know, it, you know, it's not just the fact that they have double solids. You need to have signs up every once in a while that says, do not pass. You know, it's a no passing zone for a reason, and this is a perfect example. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Eh, moving along. I'm just glad he's okay. Yeah, I'd say he's a little shaken up. Okay. In the parking lot. Whoa, what are you doing? Whoa! Do you not hear him honking his horn? Fortunately, there was no visible damage on either car, and we went our separate ways. Happened in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, well, okay, well, that's good. Gosh, 
that's why you need to pay attention, guys. You know, your rear view mirror and all, they're there for a reason. You always need to pay attention. Even if you're in the parking lot. Okay, what is the... Whoa! Dude hit the railing and swerved all over the road before pulling into a gas station. Uh, yeah, I'd say, um, he's either under the influence or he's, he's drunk. Or he's out of it. Maybe all of the above. Okay. What? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, guys. This is why you don't run a red light. Okay, just got this on my way to lunch. Oh, man. Guy in Chevy seemed fine. Well, that's good. But still got checked by ambulance. Jaguar driver was getting handcuffed. Palmdale, California. Well, good. That's, that's what happens when you don't pay attention and you run a red light. It's not worth it, guys. You know, red means stop for a reason. Oh, man. I'm just glad he's okay. So now you're holding all the traffic up. Indian pickup truck cuts me off in Brumall, Pennsylvania. Oh, gosh. Really? Yeah, and that's another thing you don't do. When there's traffic coming on a green, especially on a green light, you don't swerve out in front of traffic. No, you don't have the right of way. Now, if there's no traffic coming and it's a red light, yeah, then you can, then you can turn on red if there's no traffic coming. But you know, if if the traffic is coming and if it's heavy, no, you gotta wait. Now, sometimes you gotta wait till the light's green to turn. Because you don't have the you don't have the right of way, guys. And something now that could have ended a whole lot worse. Now they could have collided with each other, they could have totaled their cars, or they could have got or they both could have gotten seriously injured or worse. Rear end accident. I think she was more mad than I was. Really? Did you not see that he was stopped? Karen behind the wheel. Whoa, whoa, dude, slow the, whoa! I oh, took the words right out of my mouth. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Overcorrecting while driving a semi truck is always a bad idea. Uh, yeah, especially if it's on a rain slicked road. Oh my gosh. I hope he's all right. No. Oh. She cut me off when she chose at the last second to move to the center lane for Pittsburgh without signaling. Guys, don't do this. Come on, guys. We're better than this. Come on. Or, or I'd like to think so. You know, don't be idiots behind the wheel. You know, your indicators are there for a reason. It's not just to turn left or right. They're to signal whether you want to change lanes. And don't do it like this. You know, don't don't try to overtake somebody and then cut them off. Now that's that's aggressive driving, man. That could get you hurt or worse, or that could get you both hurt or worse. If anything, if the cops are behind you, it'll get you pulled over. Oh my gosh. That person needs to work on their turning. 
I thought they were going to stay in the grass after realizing they made a mistake. I was wrong. Oh, uh, yep, you're wrong. Oh, my gosh. All right. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. And see? Yeah, she did the right thing. Oh, man, they're still chasing. What in the... Two units on a high-speed chase after this female with a stolen vehicle. That was very close. Yes, that was very close. See, that's what you... See that? See these guys on the side of the road? That's exactly what you do if you hear or the lights flashing and the sirens blaring. You pull over and you let them by. If the even if they are out, even if it's a fire truck or ambulance, you pull over and let them by, because they have top priority. They're emergency vehicles, or they're or they're enforcement vehicles. They're on their way to a job. They're on their way to a heist, or they're on their or or they're on their way into a to a bust, or you know, they're they're on their way to a rescue, or so much something's happened. Yeah, you always pull over for the flashing lights, no matter what. Even if they're there to pull you over. Okay. That's a turn. Wait, what? Dude, you're on the wrong side of the road. Oh my gosh. Idiot. Whoa, whoa, dude! Officer probably used his phone while pulling in the roundabout, later blaming me for coming in too fast, although I was maintaining a speed of 15 miles per hour. Well, yeah, he shouldn't have been on his phone, but still, like I said before, you know, when you see flashing lights, you know, you give them top priority. You get out of their way. You let them pass. Now this, I'm not too sure about. That's... Oh boy. See, even the cops can be dumbbells. Which is kind of sad. Idiot runs me off the road. No contact, but it was very close though. And it's raining. Oh boy. Whoa, dude! What? Why? Well, thank goodness he's all right. But oh my gosh! Use your indicators, people. You know, the road is not your personal racetrack. Okay, what is, dude? What are you doing, dude? Wake up! Oh my, oh man. <sighs> Idiot drifts across road and hits a sign. Yeah, uh, I don't think he should be behind the wheel. If he's going to be swerving around like that. What the? I see this every time I'm on the freeway. I'm on the freeway to Tulsa. Or if I'm on the freeway heading to Ada with my dad or whatever, there's every once in a while there's some idiot who thinks they can cut across the lanes without without endangering somebody, but they're wrong. Now this tow truck driver pulled a very dangerous move to cut across multiple lanes of traffic with no warning at all. Yeah, that's that's not the way. That's not how you drive. That's not how you change lanes. As a matter of fact, in some states, you can get pulled over by the cops if they catch you, and you could probably get, and you could also probably get arrested too. In a hurry to go nowhere. Oh dear. What? Okay, guys, what's wrong with this picture? Watch this. 
For one thing, he's using the breakdown lane as a passing lane, which is a big no-no. And now he's cutting in and the traffic like, you know, you know, oh no, this is my road. No, you guys gotta pull a lot. You guys gotta get out of the way for me. No, you don't. You guys got well, one thing. The cardinal rule is share the road. It's not yours. It doesn't belong to you and you alone. You don't treat it as your personal racetrack. Oh boy. What is... Are you serious? Ha! <laughs> guy in the truck doesn't even flinch. Oh, man. Well, good for them, I mean. I mean, do you not realize what a do not pass lane is? Oh, gosh. People who do this, double line, yeah, People who do this double line passing suck, but doing so around a blind turn is another level of idiocy. Uh, it's not just another level of idiocy, it's suicide. Oh, man. Because you don't tell them what's around that corner. It could be nothing. It could be a biker trying to turn, or it could be a bus. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Calm down. It's just a video. You're not You're not in the car. Driver runs red light in Milwaukee. My car ended up starting on... Oh, my gosh. My, my car ended up starting on fire after 10 minutes. First responders, first responders were excellent, though. This is my first major accident. Guys, that's why I've, I've said, I know I've said it time and time again, but that's why you don't run a red light. Something like this could happen. You know, th this guy could have been killed. Uh, he could have burned to death in his car. Oh, man. Lost what? Lost driver. Lost driver forces me to brake and blue car decides to get revenge. I just drive well ahead of the guy to not have to deal with it. I know better than to return that favor in the rain. Oh, yeah. Okay. Driver's lost. He's lost. <sighs> yeah, he's lost. And now here comes this guy, Road Ranger. What? I guess so. Yeah, just, dude, just get out of their way. Now, that's why you need to avoid road rage. Because it doesn't do you any good, doesn't do anybody else any good. If anything, it'll get you into trouble or worse. I was almost hit by a white sedan. I moved my car to the left to avoid him. Then gave him a long honk. Oh, boy. Yeah. Dude. Now, if he had just stayed in the other lane, it would have been fine. But, nope. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What the? Probably drunk. Mailbox hit and run. Uh-oh. Well, the owner of that mailbox isn't going to be very happy. Okay. Really? 
just a little tippity tap. Well, good thing it was just a little tippity tap. But that, but again, that's why you don't run a red light. And now you're stalled, and now you're going to hold up traffic. Ah, uh, sir, um, you've got, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me drag, let, let me just drag this across where people have been dumping fuel and spark some gas and blow this place up, idiot. Yeah, um, that's, um, Sir, I don't know whether you notice this or not, but um, most of your most of your right wheel on your trailer is gone. <laughs> uh, you need a new wheel. You need a new tire. Oh, brother! Some people. I drive by faith, not by sight. Oh well, that's always wonderful to hear. Gotta love Utah, am I right? <laughs> oh, man. Very close to get rear-ended today. Oh, dear. Nope, not paying attention. Yep, not paying attention. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Driving down I-95 today, the drive shaft of sit, said no and left the building, and now I have a nice crack in my windshield. Oh, no. Well, you know, dude, it could be worse. It could have gone straight through the windshield, and you'd have, you'd have been seriously injured. Be thankful that didn't happen. Car with bike gets rear-ended. Yeah, they've had they have to stop. Dude, oh my gosh! Oh, that got well. Now see that car I swerved into the breakdown lane, but you know they tried to get out of the way. Yeah, pay attention, guys. Keep your eyes on the road. Classic Corvette move. If we had collided. Would I be held liable? Well, let's see. You're turning... Ah, uh, no. He's being the dumbass. He's being the dipstick. Uh, especially since you have a da dash cam footage. Now, you were just trying to turn normally... And he swerved, tried to, he tried to force you out of your lane. That's aggressive driving. You would not have been held at fault. At least not as far as I was concerned. Whoa, dude, what the? My morning entertainment. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, this is why. This is why we need no no U-turn signs at the stoplight. Because it's illegal anyway. I know because one of my late friends, Russell, who was also my neighbor, who also used to be a police officer, told me so. Now, we were discussing that one time when I was in his van and he was driving. I said, oh, no, no. Now, if it's at a four-way stop sign... Or some, or something like that, or no, no, you're fine. But if it's at a stoplight and you make and you bust a U at a stoplight, that's against the law. That's against the law. You know, now if you're just going to do a regular turn, that's different. But yeah, you know, if you bust a U at a stoplight, that's against the law. Okay, guys. That went. That actually went rather well. That that was actually that actually went very quick. Uh, I don't know whether I'll have time to upload this, so I may have to upload this when I get back. 
But anyway, if you like what you saw, you know, be sure and pay a visit to Dash Cam Nation and leave a like and subscribe to them. Dash Cam Nation. Wow, they go, oh wow, they got 74.5 thousand subscribers. Wow. Oh, and by the way, to all you who have recently subscribed to my channel on re uh, um, not too long ago, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Uh, watch, hey, spread the word around. I can use some more subscribers. Um, and uh, when I'm not doing classwork, when I'm not doing schoolwork, or when I'm not doing housework, uh, if I'm not uh, watching stuff with my dad, or I'm not gaming, hey, I'll probably, well, I'll probably do some Let's Play every once in a while, but when I'm not doing anything else, when my day, when my, when my days are free, I'll probably try and do some more, uh, reaction videos or videos, period, okay? Alright, okay, it's 11.54 and I gotta get my shoes on, I gotta get at my backpack. And I got to get to the rest of my stuff. And I got to get ready to go to my calculus class. So, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for, thanks for watching the video with me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys stay awesome. And if you guys are in school too, stay in school. You know, keep it up. How hard it may, as hard as it might be, keep it up because it's worth it. All right. I'll see you guys later.